where we last left off, we were looking for our lock-in. And here it is. I mean, we still three cards away. Ugh. I'm debating, should I just buy these lock-ins with VC or should I open some packs? I mean, look, we got an idea. I got a bunch of these. So we're going to start off with this option pack that I got from Unlimited. Definitely. We also got a surprise for you from Unlimited. Who do we pick out of these? Who do you want? Who would you pick out of all of these cards? These cards, some of them look kind of sorry. A few of them look kind of healthy. Just pick up clay. Why not? Why not? You know what I mean? For the culture. Let's do it. Let's open the season five. Uh, why not? We're gonna open the season five box. We might as well. We might as well jump into that. Why not? Like first pack, nothing. Ah. Let's talk about Loki. I want to talk about the direction that season seven might be going in. Do you guys think that they're going to drop Dark Matters into the player market for Season 7? I don't see it happening, personally, but it it could be a thing. It could be a thing. I don't ever see them letting us lock in for 100 overalls because that's their big bait, honestly. Like, if they let us lock in for 100 overalls, they lose their bait. So we're, they would have to go bigger and better in order to secure their bag. You know what I'm saying? That's like their cash cow. And you never want to really put your cash cow out on the street like that. Like, why would you just put it for sale? You just like, like, say you have a car that's worth a whole lot of money and you can, you can privately have people bid for it privately. Why would you just make it for sale to everyone? You know what I mean? You know, you're not just going to give it away for the lowest price. You're going to save it for who's going to bid the most on it. So yeah, that's why I don't think they'll ever put They'll ever put the, they'll never make them a lock in. 100s will not be lock ins. What do I think they're going to do as far as cards available on the player market, though? I don't see Dark Matters being available in season seven. I really don't. As we get nothing else, we got Gallinari out of this. Got a couple of Thaddeus Youngs. Um, yeah, this box was kind of, eh, kind of mid. We got a lot of, we got a lot of Amethyst out of this joint, though. I saw a lot of Amethyst. That's dancing. Another pink diamond. Okay. Well, so we didn't get nothing out of the season five deluxe box. I mean, it is what it is. We do have a surprise wait. No, as we get Chauncey, book, 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 big game, Billups. I think we already had Chauncey Billups. There's a lot that's going to exchange off of this box. Yeah. So, I mean, don't, I wouldn't say to expect season seven to bring you any 100 overalls as lock-ins. That just doesn't make sense. That's the big bait. We got a cerebral base pack out of that. Let's, um, Let's back off of these. Is there anything else here I want to open? These playoffs base packs. I mean, I might want to, but honestly, we got bigger fish to fry. So let's go to this player market. These cerebral boxes. We left off needing three cards for these cerebrals. So we're going to jump into, we're going to jump into a 20 pack. Honestly, if I don't see a shake out of here, if we don't see these three lock-ins, I'm going to feel slighted 2K. Let's just, I mean, let's, let's get us some, I need some, I need some luck. Okay, we got another pink diamond dancer. Hopefully it's not one that we already have. I just need something that's not a duplicate out of here. Honestly, we need a symbol R. Okay, Sim, Sim, Simmy, Sim, Sim. So, I mean, he's gonna exchange for something at least. What do I see going as far as the Kobe situation? I'm not sure what, where we left off with that, but they did throw this out here. This, this, oh, as we get another shaker. They threw this out here. I throw this up on the screen. They went back and rewrote history. You can go ahead and pause if you want to read this out, but I'm just going to summarize basically what happened. Their original statements where Kobe would be the actual prize. And then they went in and they amended that the prize would be two 100 overall cards instead of Kobe. If you did reach collector level, it is what it is at that point. As we get in Azure, is this Azure Thompson? I think we already had bro. I'm in Thompson. I'm in and Azure. I finally learned those kids names. I didn't know them at the beginning of the season. If you go back to the, the videos from the beginning, I just didn't know. I didn't know. Um, I mean, that's a good pull. I just don't know if we already had Buddy. I think we didn't. I'm not I'm not sure. I don't think we had Amen. But um, I mean, as far as them amending the Kobe situation, it's not far-fetched. They did go in and amend their whole terms of service mid mid-game, mid-cycle. What did they do that like two months ago? They went ahead and they amended their terms of service and made it where we can't take them to court for anything or we don't own anything included in the game, which I did learn that that is actually terms of service for a lot of games. I think 
Fortnite might have some type of similar terms of service. I could be wrong. And we're not getting anything really out of this 20 box. We kind of flowing through it so far. We got a few shakes so far, but not anything that I would be hype over. We want that Timmy Duncan though. Can we get that Tim Timmy Tim Tim? Looking like a big crime fighting Ninja Turtle. I mean, it's just a few hot topics out here that we looking at. We're trying to really speculate on what's coming for the forecoming season seven. It's a few days away and we really just need, oh, we got another dancer. We really just need some more dancers out of this pack. We got, oh my gosh, uh, it's a pink diamond. Who woulda knew? The biggest news though, the biggest bait, my guy Troy Dan has, has really, he says he quit this time. I think it's a, oh, okay, we got another, we got another Dwight Howard. That's, you know how, you know how him and Troy Dan get down. They got like a long last, long lasting love thing going on. I don't know. Hopefully he can bring him back to the 2K community because it really feels like it feels like we lost a, a big piece of the puzzle, honestly. But I mean, Troy does that all the time. He he pretty much gets peed off and he says he's gone. He comes back sooner or later. So who knows what he's going to do in that situation? Hopefully Troy comes back to bring us some more some more 2K content because this is going I mean, this we haven't been hit this hard since since Cash Nasty left the community. And, you know, him and Cash had a had a pretty good run, you know what I mean? We we probably should have took the MT, but I'm not gonna hold you. We need these deluxe exchange packs. Sometimes they get hot, you know what I'm saying? So we got close off of that 20, off that 20. Let's see, let's see where we are as far as what we need. We just need one more card. Honestly, I mean, why not? We're just gonna buy Donovan Mitchell right now and we got our lock in, ladies and gentlemen. We have locked in, yes sir. Here we go. We off to the races. Y'all wanna open this right now? We might as well. We might as well go ahead and open this right now. We might as well. Yes, we wanna lock that in. We're locked in. We locked in, twin. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Like, like, if I win, we also have our bionic lock in. Oh, lock in. Lock that in. We got our bionic plus pack out this bit. Unsellable bionic. This is the dark matter plus time that we've been waiting for. It's our time right now. We need 100 overall. Kevin Durantula. Let's see some. Okay, it's dark. It's dark. Who y'all think it is, though? Who do you think it is? I think it has to be Ben. This is Ben. Okay, we got Anthony. Mickey Ficky Edwards. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad. Anthony Edwards is actually a pretty good pickup. Pretty good pickup. I'm not mad. Point guard, shooting guard, Anthony Edwards. Put this man in the lineup. I know. I know he got some of y'all beat. I don't know what to say. I mean, we got to see what he rocking like. We got to see what, bro. It's out here singing like, oh yeah, he got that Trey Escape, I think. I think he got the Trey Escape. And the jumper is solid. Okay, no, I was wrong. I was big wrong. It's Kimba Walker's Escape with uh, Stephen Curry's moving step back. I like that Curry moving step back. I like the shoot out of that. If you scouting me, you know. If you know, you know. I mean, everybody likes to shoot out of that, though. Who wouldn't? Get into the bucket is going to be easy with bro. He kind of flows. He kind of has a flow to him. Um, I mean, I would say throw a defensive shoe on Buddy and it'll be gravy. Honestly. I mean, that's the most I could see out of it. Throw a defensive shoe on Buddy and just let him get to it. Maybe a maybe a defensive shoe, but he's going to need... I mean, if you plan on running Buddy at the point guard spot, he's going to need ball handle plus four. He's going to need speed with ball. Maybe plus two. He's going to need his three-pointer plus three. Definitely. So that takes out three spots right there alone. You might want to put acceleration plus four. If you plan on running him at the one, that's at the one spot. And then stamina plus three. If you want to run him at the two, you, you can give him the, uh, if you don't plan on handling the rock with him. If you run him to run your offense, I mean, yeah, you're going you're gonna to need to give him, you're going to need to give him that shoot that I just, that I just put out there. But that's the shoot that I'm thinking about giving him. I don't know. I'm really looking for a big anyway, so 
But as far as who he's beating on my team right now, he beats out he beats out Devin Booker. So I can run Devin Booker at the one, run him at the two. I didn't look to see if he beats out Vince Carter, but Michael Jordan hasn't beat. Michael Jordan hasn't beat by a, a fair amount. I like this jumper, though. His jumper is better than Michael Jordan's. Not going to hold you. The jumper is solid. Yeah, I mean, Anthony Edwards ain't bad. Y'all can flow with him. That's that guy. Okay, well, it is what it is with that joint. We got what we got from there, and let's push forward. Guaranteed. It's a guaranteed. A guaranteed. Dark. Miz Adder. I was wishing it could have been. I was wishing it could have been, you know, the big dog. It ain't the big dog. It's not Timmy D. We wish we could have got our Ninja Turtle. But let's see what we get. Let's see what we get into. Oh, Lord. It's a small forward from the West. West, West. Okay. All right, Debo. We don't, we didn't necessarily, we didn't necessarily want you, Debo. I'm not going to lie. I mean, and it's not, it's not because of you. You're not, it's not nothing wrong with you. I just, I mean, I can't throw the fanfare out there because like, I mean, it's, it's not you. I really, I need a big on my team right now. I need another dark matter big. Ralph Sampson would have went way harder. And then you have a 91 three-point shot with Kobe Bryant's escape. And I mean, eh, I just I just don't like Kobe Bryant's escape. And then you got Kyrie's moving step back. They didn't do you too right. They could have did you a whole lot better, bro. So, I mean, Debo's not a bad guy. Debo is not a bad, he's not a bad guy. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to hold you. Most of the guards on my team have bro beat, have bro beat by a, a little bit. I'm pretty sure. I mean, and then the fact that I, the surprise already, I, I went and got Glenn Rice out of that joint. You know what I mean? As you saw, a 6'8", small forward shooting guard. You know what I'm saying? Why would I need, why would I need Debo? Why? Just why? At this point, I mean, I just, me personally, he's he's not a, well, okay, I'm, I'm going to say Sig, Sig Why he's a bad card. Sig Wise, he's a very bad card, but I mean, he's not a, if you need him on your squad, he's a pickup. Like what I'm saying about him is this, this move right here doesn't create the space I want. This move just doesn't create the, that's that Kobe escape. Doesn't, it just doesn't do. And then that, that step back doesn't do it for me. I'm just not, I'm not impressed. I'm just not impressed. The jumper is okay. Jumper is nice. On the move, it's, it's nice. Off the hezzy, it's nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, eh. Yeah. Just, it's just not what I was looking for. It's just not the card that I'm looking for on my team. You know what I mean? If he would have had a 90, a 90, a 95, 95 three point shot, 94 three point shot, even a 94, 94 to 95 three point shot, I would have found him, I would have found him suitable to hop on my team and get right. But just, he's just not it. He's just not it. I mean, and then I even stopped running Anthony Edwards and I wanted that card, but the jumper just had a little hitch to it. And I couldn't, as, as well as Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan's jumper is a little bit slow, but if you create enough space, you good. And it seems like this card is the same. Jumper might be a little bit slow. You might need, you might need more space than, than you would think to really get in that window. And I don't like that hop forward. When I try to escape out of no dribble, that hop forward gets me ripped a whole lot. I feel like 2K did something with the sliders and maybe slid something a little bit and changed up a little something for the coming season. But it's no way to know. You know, they operate with immunity and they do things when they want to do it. They can do whatever they want because it's their game. It's like, it's like going to the guy's house that has the Sunny D. Back in my day, if you had the Sunny D at your house, then that's just... You had the juice. You know what I mean? You had all the juice. Literally. So we were at your house because you got the Sunny D. Now wait till I got the Sunny D at my house. And it's on. Oh, I got the Pop-Tarts and the pizza bagels and the Sunny D. Oh, yeah, bro. You know how my mom does it. But anyway, it is what it is. Debo, I'm going to say B-card. B, B, a B. I'll give him a B. 
just because I have better cards and better guards, better forwards on my squad already. It is what it is, though. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.